Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with another one. And what I am looking at is a beer from Terrapin Beer Company out of Athens, Georgia. This is the Dancing Gummy Bear Hemp Cherry Berliner Weiss. Never had any beer like this. I've had some of the hemp beers, but a hemp cherry Berliner Weiss sounds pretty interesting. So Terrapin Beer Company is now owned by Miller Coors, but they still do have the brewery out in Athens, Georgia. Um, this beer is super fresh. Unfortunately, they don't have a canned on date, but the best by date is May of 2021. And I get a lot of Terrapin beers here, so I know that this one just came out. Uh, and as soon as it did, I grabbed it up. So let's see what this beer is all about. It is 4.02% alcohol with the hemp in there. I was thinking maybe, you know, 4.2, 4.20, 4 420 would have been a little bit more appropriate. But um, it's interesting. It does say on the label, it says ale brewed with hemp seeds and natural flavors added. Does not contain THC. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a go, shall we? Oh my goodness, I can already smell the hemp. Very, very dank aroma right off the bat. It smells like cannabis. It smells like some dank nugs. And then once you get through that, I'm actually, you know, you do get the cherry. Holy moly. Okay, so the hemp aroma, that cannabis smell is dying down a little bit, and I'm definitely picking up on the nice cherry aromas. Mm, it smells really good. It smells like it's going to be pretty tart. It is a Berliner Weiss, so that is to be expected. That hemp aroma, though, really kind of was overpowering at first, I guess just because it was agitated when I was pouring it and it released the bouquet of the of the aroma, but it's died down significantly now. And I am getting a lot of the cherry, but there is still some of that dank, resinous type quality. So the appearance, a nice, slightly hazy, reddish pink. And the head originally poured about one finger has pretty much dissipated completely. Some streaming bubbles going up the glass. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. Woo! Very tart. Tart cherry. That's actually the first thing that I'm picking up on is that almost sour cherry note. The hemp is actually kind of muted. The aroma really exploded right off the bat with, with that dankness. That's actually died down quite a bit. It is there a little bit to provide uh, some interesting flavor components. But it definitely takes a back seat to the tart cherry flavor. A little bit of bready malt character in the middle of the sip, like some wheat bread notes coming through. Yeah, nice wheat bread notes coming through in the middle of the sip. The hemp is kind of there throughout, but it's on the light side. If you've ever had the Sweetwater 420 Strain G13 or the Mango Kush, a lot less pronounced than with those beers. However, the aroma with this one when I first poured it was super dank, probably because this is just such a fresh beer. If I had to guess, I would say that this beer can't be more than a couple weeks old just because it was just released. And, um, I mean, the best by date is May of 2021, so it's got to be pretty fresh. You don't want to let beers like this sit around too long, even though it's probably not got a ton of hops in it. I'm not getting a huge hop bitterness. That hemp aroma and flavor as the beer ages will only fade away. So best to drink something like this super fresh. The finish with this 
is relatively light, uh, dry. It is crisp. The carbonate, the carbonation with this is on the medium side, uh, but the body is super light, crisp, clean, refreshing, and dry. A wonderful, unique, a wonderfully unique beer, I guess I should say. Um, if you like the hemp flavors and aromas, then you'd probably really love this beer. And as a Berliner Weiss and sour beer lover, I am really digging this because it does have that nice tart cherry component. You do get the nice wheat bready malt character in the middle of the sip, as to be expected with a Berliner Weiss or any wheat malted beer. So I'm going to go with a 92 out of 100. It's an A- minus for me. The alcohol is a little on the low side, 4.02. I think it should be a little bit higher than that. The hemp aromas don't translate as much to the palate as I would actually like them to, but that cherry tartness and nice wheat bready malt character in the middle of the sip are what's keeping this in the A range, uh, but on the lower end, A-. minus. So 92 out of 100 for the Terrapin Beer Company Dancing Gummy Bear Hemp Cherry Berliner Weiss Beer. So buy it, try it, let me know what you guys think. That'll do it for this beer review. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.